first put out. It's not a standard pour at all. We set this with a kit. This is a 1200 longer standard 90 by 75 mil for us all. 75 mil that way, which basically sits between the end of the external walls. So you, you insulate your cavity as standard with a point wall insulation, and this pour sock then is fitted into the end of that cavity. Um, on the top of that, then, so you put the paper lap over the top of that, the standard lap that comes on the panel, 300 wide to give a 150 lap. Uh, that's the next panel. This is a 300 by 1200 foil sock, and um, this will suit your cavity size. Don't be, don't assume certain colours or certain cavity sizes. They, they all differ. Um, make sure you check what's written on the socks for the cavity size, which is specific to the job you're doing. So that foil sock then we fitted over the centre line of the cavity, stapled to the panel either side as a standard foil sock with a paper lamp. Um, at, at roof level. In, instead of using the wire back, um, this sock is 300 by 50 mil, which is designed so when the, uh, the passable spandle panels are kept out 38 mil on the top of the rafter or the truss, this will then sit over a coat in the cavity at the roof level and will compress which is fat and band over the top. Uh, same as any other foil sock, then these need to butt together. There's a lap that you can staple either side onto the truss or the rafter. Um, do be aware that the 50 mil foil barrier cannot be used on the outside of the building because a minimum cavity of 50 mil needs to be a 65 mil foil sock. So the 50 mil foil barrier is only for at the roof level, and that is fitting alongside in any boxes where we put the foil board and run that down into the, into the eaves. So this product is eliminating the use of foil back up and over on roofs. If you've got a step roof, you'll end up fitting a standard foil sock closing that cavity, stapling that to the lower spandle panel, closing that cavity at the roof level. Right, this is a short mock-up example of how to fit the vertical party wall fire barriers. Um, this is not a traditional cavity, but it's still a cavity within timber frame. But on this one we've got a seal post and a seal post, where traditionally that would be the external panel running to the side of the cavity. Um, there's no FCM on this cavity because the panels, point walls are lower inside. Um, but we don't have to fit FCM vertically, but we still have to fit it underneath the sole plates. Um, so that FCM would run through the sole plates and basically would be left left long and then that paper will lap over the top. So you run it through the sole plates and just let that drape 300-400mm outside of the building line. So you don't actually need that on the vertical. Um, so basically our cavity here is fully insulated to the end of the party wall cavity, the dry therm. Um, dry firm fitted, fitted brick effect. Um, so basically that's fitted out to the end, it's fully filled. Um, I put this paper lap on previously um, because basically because of the, the two steels that panel lap doesn't come and give a 150 lap so I fitted that on there to give us a paper lap, I'll show you that later. Um, so that's basically the cavity is filled to the end. We take our 90 by 75 for a sock. So it's, Traditionally, that is a 70 mil cavity, and then if it's achieved on the party wall, it would then become 50. So that's a 70 mil cavity, the 75 mil width of the sock. So we take the sock, fit it flush down to the bottom, and basically get that as, as low as it, it can go, generally down to DPC, and basically push that into the cavity for a friction fit. So that is then flush with the outside of the cavity. We take the next sock, we give it a shake thing so the sock drops down in the bag. And then fit that above. So, so that's the four socks fit to the end of the firewall cavity. We then take the paper lap and staple that over, over the cavity. That's what I mean about the paper lap previously. We've only been lapping onto the next panel that much. That's why I put this paper lap on first. Traditionally, that lap would just go straight over the top and that would be fine. Right, so that, that's now ready for the wide fire sock to be fitted. 
So here we are, this is the 300 void sock. Um, the bottom of the sock has to be down, down to DPC level. So we give, give the sock a shake to start with. So the idea is centre line of the cavity, you know, the centre line of the sock fits. Traditionally, if it's a standard job, the floor sock would lap over the paper lap, which would give your seal, which, which is why you don't need the FCM and the tape, because the sock is sealing uh, at the end of the paper lap. Lap that one over. So basically, that's going down past the down past DPC. You get that in position. Right. Well, when it comes to fitting the sock underneath an eaves, or like we've got here underneath the steel, where you have to cut the sock. Um, if you measure the size insulation you need, offer it up, and when you cut it, leave your plastic sleeve longer. So then you can lap that plastic sleeve over the far sock and fit that facing down. So if it's obviously fitted out, you, you might have water ingress into the insulation, which means you're not, um, basically the far sock then is going to be soaking wet when you're falling off the building. Turn that round the other way. Put it up against the next one, the one you've previously fitted. On this one we've got some lovely steel bolts to go the knee. Basically, put the two together. Uh, that, that's tight fitting, so if that was underneath the eaves, that would be buttoned tight up against a soffit baton or a vertical fire, um, horizontal fire sock. That one's there. Get some fixings on that. Uh, so, again, we're, when we're fixing, we're trying not, we're trying to get a tidy fixing, pulled in tight so, so the staple's not pulling the insulation in when we staple it. Let's put it tight together there. We almost tap it to start with, get it where we want it, and then we can revisit fully fix it after. And, and that is an example of our new detail for the cavity barriers to a vertical party wall cavity.